What's up, my fellow Trash Engineers? Welcome back to another uh, episode of Good Content. Uh, I'm back with the the speed paint review because I finally got a new uh, sketchbook. And and as you saw in the title, hopefully you didn't just randomly click on this. I'm reviewing Invincible. It's about time. I watched it since I think about episode three. I think I started around then. Uh, and honestly, it's, it's fantastic. Of course, I'm going to remember and I'm going to tell you all that there's going to be spoilers for everything. All right. I'm talking about everything in Invincible and probably a few other shows that are in my dialect. So uh, uh, just be wary. I mean, if you're like me, you're good to go. So uh, anyway, uh, let's get started. Of course, Invincible is a, uh, a recent adaptation of a comic uh, series that is quite admirable in its, uh, you know, and how great it is. The comic's great, I have heard. So, uh, yeah, so of course, uh, the comic uh, creator himself uh, also... The, the artists as well, they both uh, worked on the animated show. So, of course, the show was in good hands. And, matter of fact, they improved upon the comic itself. So, uh, let's get right into the story. Uh, the story is about Mark, uh, Mark Grayson, whose father is a alien uh, and a superhero. And the... His alien side means he's he means he's super strong because the aliens are viltrumites as they're called in the series. Uh, they uh, they did the some. Uh, you know, some questionable things. Some that would... Uh, you know, some similar things to what... You know, something that rhymes with hot seas, uh did, did. So, uh, they did that. So, now they're super strong. And super old. Because they get super old. So now, uh, these people, uh, the Viltrumites are so strong that they're like, all right, we're going to be the strongest in the galaxy. So we're going to, conquer the entire universe. And so they do for the most part. Trying to remember his design. Don't do what I do. I'm only doing this for you know. Use references. Anyway, so uh, they try and conquer, and they send uh, Mark's dad, Nolan Grayson, and. He comes to Earth, and the first person he sees, he falls in love with, which is, uh, I forgot her, their mom, the mom's name. I forgot the mom's name. I don't remember. Uh, Diane Grayson, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, Nolan falls in love with Diane. And so, uh, and then, uh, Mark, uh, becomes sort of a normal human as, uh, Mark, and then they live happily ever after until, uh, when, uh, until around Mark's 18th birthday when he develops his powers. And so now, uh, he wants to be a superhero like his dad, because there's superheroes in this in this universe, uh, because people are super powered. So, uh, 
Mark does. He gets he's taught things by his dad. And so he becomes a superhero. And then hijinks ensue because he's not ready for how brutal the superheroing is. Life is brutal. And that's his first lesson. So. And then we meet uh, all the side characters who are also superheroes. Sorry about that. I uh, kind of lost track a second. Um, we meet Adam Eve. Uh, we meet Amber, who's uh, just a girl who goes to Mark's high, high school. Uh, and other people that I cannot remember the names of. They're not really important to the main story. Anyway, Mark does... You know, superhero stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to cover a lot. I'm not going to cover a lot. This show is going to be long form. Like long form. Almost every episode is about an hour long. So it's a, it's around Doctor Who, Doctor Who shaped uh, season. It's, a, it's built different if you will. Anyway. So uh, just be wary of that. And it's gruesome. It's quite gruesome. Anyway, there's not really a main story, just Mark finding finding his ropes as a superhero until one day Omni-Man, also known as Nolan Grayson, uh, just does horrible things. He just straight up turns into a super villain, honestly. Uh, so... You like that ASMR? Uh, so, um... Nolan finally uh, does what he needed to do, which is conquer over the world. But he needed uh, uh, Mark to join him. And Nolan uh, obviously uh, developed a connection to Mark. And so uh, after a very, very painful and brutal fight between the two, where it's like really shows how strong Nolan is. And he's not even the strongest. He's like a base level of uh, Veltramite. And which is crazy. Uh and so Mark comes to realize that, um his dad's not the best.
it's not the best. Anyway, so, um, a lot of stuff is said, a lot of stuff is done, which is, um, man, I'm tired. Anyway, uh, blah, 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 Mark finds out everything, everyone finds out everything, uh, Nolan lied, uh, about everything. Uh, so, it, so yeah, that's basically Invincible, uh, from, you know, from a tired guy perspective. Anyway, so yeah, um, so yeah, that was Invincible, fantastic show, I definitely left out a lot, I basically left out everything that wasn't, like, main story beats, so if you have Amazon Prime, uh, or Amazon Prime Video, I should say, go watch it. It's a very good watch. You don't even need to read the comic because it basically has everything uh, in the comic in there so you're not missing out on much. So yeah, anyway, uh, that was this review of good content. Uh, uh, um, yeah, so I... Uh, Check out my previous uh, videos. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I should review next. And whether or not I should keep this speed paint uh, review going. Uh, this style going. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys next Friday. Uh, and thank you so much for watching.